I'm here to talk about job search techniques, and I, and I labeled this one Job Search Techniques 2.0. There was a 1.0. Uh, what had happened, maybe about a year and a half, two years ago, I got a call from uh, representatives from Black Enterprise Magazine. So they called me, and they said, Ken, you know, we know you're doing some big things in recruiting, and we wanted to touch base with you uh, on people, how people get around getting their resumes into the, the, the job boards and things of that nature. So they sat down with myself, uh, one of the senior VPs from Monster, and uh, a VP at Hot Jobs. And we kind of had a roundtable discussion uh, around job boards and, and things that you need to do to get a job. So everybody here, I would imagine, is currently in a job search or looking to make another career move or something like that, correct? Yeah. yeah. What tools are you guys using to find jobs? Uh, anybody? Monster? Monster? Indeed. Okay. Yahoo. 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 Career Builder. Okay. Okay. Great. Career Link. Career Link. All right. That's a good thing. I think the gentleman from Career Link is scheduled to come today, I believe. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, there's a thing. All of those are good resources. But here's the thing. What you want to do, you want to focus on, my, my thought would be to focus on what they call the hidden job market. Uh, experts report basically that 70 to 80 percent of the open jobs aren't published. So you're going to Monster, you're going to Career Builder, and other places, and you're competing with a ton of people for 20 percent of the jobs, 30 percent of the jobs. So if, if you, I hear people every day, they say, "Listen, I've probably applied to 50 jobs over the last month. Haven't heard a thing back from anybody." And there's reasons behind that, and uh, you know, and, and we'll talk about a little bit of that as well. But I think. What you want to keep in mind is that 70% um, of successful job searches come through networking. 